This is ABC 7 News at 6. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Jacqueline Matter. Thanks for joining us this evening. Hurricane Maria is now Category 4 storm. It is fast approaching the northern Leeward Islands. The eye of the storm is expected to move through that area tonight. Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan is here now with more on the storm and its future path. Bob? Pretty incredible, too. This is another major Category 4 storm. Four out of the last six have been Category 4 storms. And there's only been three other years that we've seen Category 4 storms. Four of them prior to September 19th. So this indeed is a, a historic year and we've accumulated more energy adjusted 2017 than any full season of storms uh, since again uh, 2001. It's again, enhanced satellite imagery showing a very intense storm now. It really gained strength this afternoon as it's over some very warm water. Excellent outflow in all four quad uh, quadrants and a well-defined eye set to make landfall later on tonight. Right there in the Dominica it looks like will take a direct hit uh, just as we saw in Barbuda uh, with Irma. This direct hit is going to be devastating as a result of the winds are getting stronger, too. They're at 130 now, but they could go as high as 145 before it makes landfall with gusts up to 160. Now, the uh, 155 on our wind right there, just on the verge of becoming a Category 5, wouldn't be surprised to see it turn into a 5 as it heads toward Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico has only been hit by three Category 4 hurricanes in its history over the past hundred years and this one looks to be uh, very close on Wednesday at two o'clock in the afternoon as a major category strong four hurricane pushing off toward the northwest. Now as it makes its way through the Atlantic it looks like it's going to avoid for the most part the Turks and Caicos. It will catch them a little bit. This is obviously where the center is going to be but the effects of the hurricane will stretch far to the west and far to the east. All the models are agreeing uh, that this storm is going to be on the western edge of a high pressure ridge similar to what we saw with Irma, but this one not as strong. So Irma will make that turn to the north a little bit sooner, it appears. And as I mentioned, there are no outliers. That means there's no models stretching off toward Florida at this point, which is a good sign. We'll keep it a uh, very close watch on it, though, as we move through the next five days. 85 degrees right now. And it's sunny out there. The heat index not too bad considering the dew point temperature is at 73 and the pressure now 29.90 inches. There are some showers mainly on the east coast, kind of a trough left behind from Jose bringing some showers there, but they're not going to make their way all the way over to our coast. We'll start to moisten up a little bit by midweek. We'll have more in our forecast coming up in a few minutes. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Bob. You can still see the aftermath of Hurricane Irma throughout our area, but some effects cannot be seen, and they may last for months. Some people say they're suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder after Irma, and doctors say they are seeing an increase of patients who have anxiety. ABC 7's Erica Jackson joins us live in Sarasota to explain why the storm may have triggered mental health issues for some people. Erica? Good evening, Scott and Jacqueline. Doctors say it is common for adults and children to experience symptoms of PTSD after a traumatic situation like Hurricane Irma. Here on Danny Drive, many homeowners are still without power one, more than one week after the storm, and many of them are still looking for ways to repair the damage to their homes. The anxiety is not gone. It just stays there. The list of stressors for Lori McDonald keeps growing. A cracked foundation running through two bedrooms, ongoing roof problems, and a single floor home prone to flooding. This is all I have. I don't have any money saved up in a bank account. I don't have assets like other people do. You know, I don't have another property to go and live in. McDonald tells us Bowie's Creek overflows whenever the Sun Coast experiences heavy rainfall and the water runs south, flooding many of the homes on Magellan Drive including her own. She prepared for the worst as Hurricane Irma made her way toward Florida, but she admits she's one of the lucky ones. I hate what happened to the East Coast, though. It's detrimental. It's Jacksonville and all of them. It's just in like Naples and St. Marcos, but I'm sorry. We just saw what happened in Texas and we all thought the same thing was going to happen to us. Clinical psychologist Dr. Eddie Renier says it's common for adults to suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder or anxiety after seeing the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey and spending days preparing for Hurricane Irma. We all made it through a, a horrible situation, and we wouldn't be human if we didn't have a reaction to it. So our reactions are normal. Dr. Renier explains adults or kids with PTSD may suddenly become anxious or have trouble sleeping, but it may take six months to experience those symptoms. 
McDonald admits she hasn't been sleeping well since Hurricane Irma made her mark on Sarasota, but she says she's trying to steer away from negative thoughts. You go help someone, you go look around, see someone in worse position than you're in, and you just keep, you keep moving. And Dr. Renier says some of the best ways to deal with the symptoms of anxiety or PTSD is to stay busy. You should also talk to someone about your feelings like a medical professional and take that knowledge, take what you learned during Hurricane Irma and apply that the next time another hurricane or a tropical storm is expected us here in Florida. Reporting live in Sarasota, Erica Jackson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, Erica, good advice. Thank you so much. A Suncoast teenager has now become the focus of a missing persons case. Jabez Spann was last seen on Labor Day. And as ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates shows us, the community and his mother are now rallying to bring him back home. It's a situation that many say they would not wish on their worst enemy, a child winding up missing. But one mom says she's not giving up and she's asking the community for help. A 14 year old does not fall off the face of the earth without a trace for nothing. Tawana Spann's son, Jabez, has been missing since September 4th. According to those close to him, the teenager was last seen playing outside near his grandmother's home in Newtown. But when he did not come home that afternoon, his family immediately became alarmed. There's no hint of him being anywhere. There's no social media. There's no record of him with his friends. Tawana says law enforcement even attempted to trace Jabez's cell phone, but that was unsuccessful, which means the child has seemingly vanished. To be a mother and trying to call for your child in the woods or walk in the woods to try to find out if he's there, this is, okay, I understand whatever, but like if there's anybody that know anything like don't just let him, if something happens, don't just let him just be out there like that. I'm not saying that, even if you know his whereabouts doesn't. Jabez is described as a happy and compassionate child. He was also a star athlete who recently returned from a travel football game where he played in the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. And he even met one of his idols, Cam Newton. Tawana and her boyfriend, Joe Butler, says Jabez was on a path to college where he'd hoped to continue his football career. Because of that, the couple doubts their child ran away and they now fear the worst. Each day that goes on, a little more hope is taken away from you. You know, the more hope, a sense of almost defeat can almost come up to you. Nothing that Irma or Harvey together put together could compare because it's devastating. And not knowing is even worse because every day it's the pain, the confusion just grows and grows and grows. So if anybody has information, like she said, we. We just want to know. We just want, we just want it to stop. A five thousand dollar reward is being offered for Jabez's safe return. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. Bo Beth Yates, ABC Seven, your Suncoast News. Now to a dispute over hurricane shelters in the city of Venice. The city opened the Venice Community Center when they realized no other shelters were opening nearby. The city worried that too many of their residents would not be able to get to the closest shelters in Sarasota and Northport. The city sheltered 400 people in the community center against the advice of Sarasota County officials. That has since led to some backlash with Sarasota County saying the building should have never been opened. It was in a storm surge zone and at only 13 feet elevation. But we discovered that the building is actually rated similar to other shelters that did open and is actually at 19 feet of elevation. They want the city to cease and desist. Well, then do something. Get out there and do something before we have another season like we have this year. Sarasota County later said they did have the wrong elevation. County Commissioner Charles Hines said the matter should be looked into. The agricultural community on the Sun Coast is still trying to put a price tag on the economic loss from Hurricane Irma. A big problem for farms in Sarasota and Manatee counties has been restricted access to water due to power outages. Manatee County Citrus Industry is facing what it thinks is a $2.65 million in lost revenue. Those farming other crops like tomatoes and peppers could see a 50% drop in its yield. Palmetto-based grower West Coast Tomato says they are re replanting about 15% of their two farms in Manatee County.
We know that it won't be a normal crop. It'll probably be a, a crop that's probably down 20 or 30 percent in volume. Uh, so we, we'll keep working on the plants and do our best to get them through to harvest. Local officials say it could be another few weeks before the full damage assessment is complete for our area. And the citrus industry really across the state took a big, big, big hit. I was thinking the same thing. Still to come in your Suncoast News, many people still without power after Hurricane Irma. How you can now get some answers on your outage from FPL. Now you can win a $50 visa. It's easy. Just enter the word of the week at mysuncoast.com. This week's word is fall. We'll pick a winner each week. Good luck. Get breaking news alerts focused on the Sun Coast. Download the ABC7 News app. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. It's Lincoln's summer sales event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKX Sport Utility for $349 per month, or Lincoln's flagship, the 2017 Continental, for $449 per month. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Lincolns. These vehicles have warranties up to 100,000 miles and come with complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury, winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award, serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We're located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. It's Willamania at the Player Center as the Will Rogers Follies takes the stage September 27th. Part homespun humor and part Ziegfeld Follies, this toe-tapping Tony Award musical is the start of our wild Broadway series. So call the players at 365-2494 or visit us at theplayers.org. You need to catch Willamania. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Start your day with a new Good Morning Suncoast team. Weekday starting at 5 a.m. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. If you or someone you know is still without power because of the hurricane, you can now get some answers more easily. Florida, Florida Power and Light customers in Sarasota County can go talk to a FPL representative in person. Those representatives are inside a blue FPL tent right in front of Roberts Arena on Fruitville Road where they are staging all their vehicles. You can ask them about the status of your outage and when power will be restored. You can also call FPL toll free at 1-800-468-8243. I know a lot of people are waiting for some answers, but they are patient. Just be patient. They are getting yeah. to you. Well, we're at least now, I think, around 90% of the right. area restored, so we're getting close. Yeah. yeah. Fingers crossed that it comes sooner yeah. rather than later. All right. Well, up next, Bob Harrigan with your first alert weather forecast. I dropped it on the floor, and he stepped on it. No matter how you broke your smartphone, there's only one smart way to fix it. Batteries plus bulbs. Schedule your repair at BatteriesPlus.com. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would
a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. Want the latest weather and traffic conditions wherever you go? Introducing ABC 7's revolutionary new First Alert weather app. With our state-of-the-art new weather app, you get up-to-the-minute weather alerts, interactive radar maps, current conditions, 10-day forecasts, real-time traffic maps, and weather video from ABC 7, all at your fingertips. And it's free. Just search Suncoast WX in the App Store and download onto all your devices today. Sponsored by Mr. Sparky. When my youngest, Addie, was two and a half, she was diagnosed with leukemia. When we first heard that diagnosis, you feel extremely alone. Walking in that light, the night light, with 6,000 people carrying lights, white for survivors, red for supporters, gold in memory of those who have passed. It's the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's hope that every year there are fewer gold lanterns. Your lantern will make a difference. Start a team, join a team. Help us light the night. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Download the all-new ABC7 First Alert weather app now. Yeah, we talk about these categories of storms and what they mean as far as the damage goes. And you take a Category 3, it's 50 times greater than a tropical storms, and then you move it to a 4. It's 250 times greater. It's exponentially increasing all the way to 500 times the damage. If you move it on in, as we saw, uh, just uh, recently with Irma, and now uh, this storm is amazing. Maria has gained strength so quickly uh, in the very warm waters uh, just south of where Irma tracks. So there was plenty of uh, warm water still there uh, to deal with. Uh, the Van Ways webcam showing fair skies out there. A few showers uh, left behind from Jose. A little trough of low pressure there on the east coast now, uh, bringing some rainfall along there. We're not uh, seeing any rain here as a result of the dry air in place. And that should stick around tomorrow. We're not calling for much rain at all tomorrow. We may see a few inland showers at best late in the day. A little bit better chance, but not much on Wednesday. And then things will start to increase in our rain, uh, looks like, as we move into Thursday. And then it will get windy here as a result of Maria, it appears, as it passes east of the state. At least that's what it looks like right now. And we're very uh, confident that it will as a result of the high-pressure ridge weakening on the western edge and then the storm moving up to the north. It actually may meet up with... Jose, which will be just kind of spinning around off the Virginia coast there. For us, that dry air is in place for at least one more day. Not many clouds around. The evening planner looks pretty good tonight. We'll see generally fair skies, 78 degrees by 11 o'clock. And currently, it's 85 out there. The heat index, 92. The dew point temperature at 73. And the pressure, 29.90 inches and falling ever so slightly. The high and low are right at the average today. 89 and 74, both those numbers right where they're supposed to be. And 95. The record set back in 2005. No rainfall 
And for the month, we're well above average. And for the year, almost 15 inches above average. Well, an above average hurricane season, it has been. We've had four Category 4 above storms out of the last six storms. And we've only had three other years that that's happened before September 19th. On top of that, Puerto Rico has only been hit by three major Category 4 hurricanes in the history. And it looks like uh, they could get their fourth uh, fairly quickly. As this is intensifying, again, very symmetrical looking storm heading right for Dominica. It looks like uh, it will miss the core of it anyway, uh, Guadalupe and as well as uh, the Barbuda area. But still, they're going to see hurricane force winds there. There's the forecast cone of uncertainty right in through Puerto Rico as a Category 4 storm with 150 mile an hour winds. And then well east of the state of Florida. Most of the models, again, are all in agreement here that it's going to kind of continue on this north to north uh, westerly course and then head off to the north. Not many models. In fact, no models taking it uh, right toward us. So that's good on that front. And it looks like it'll stay that way, too. Uh, as far as the Ho Jose forecast goes, we'll go back to that real quick. Uh, 75 mile hour winds, it's moving to the north at 10, the pressure 977 millibars. This is the cone, actually not a cone, it's a circle of uncertainty. It's going to be hanging around here for the next five days. It could actually meet up with Maria in about six days from now. For boaters, winds out of the northeast, turning to the north at 5 to 10 knots. Seas will be 1 to 2 feet with a moderate chop. And the water temperature now at 85 degrees, UV index will be at 10. And the tides upcoming for Sarasota Bay, 718 for low tide. And another at 6.57 tomorrow morning, sunset at 7.31. Mostly fair, mild tonight, 72 for your low. Tomorrow, sunny, 90, warm and a bit breezy. North winds 10 to 15. The extended forecast, our rain chances gradually increasing as we move through the work week. Fall begins just after 4 p.m. on Friday, but it stays into the upper 80s. We'll be right back after this. This week, President Trump takes the world stage, addressing the United Nations General Assembly. From North Korea to the ISIS fight, what's the plan? This is where America turns. World News Tonight with David Muir, America's most watched newscast. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything, or nothing at all, surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here, at the Wannabe Inn, on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, Log on to wannabein.com. Get the hottest deals of the year during the summer clearance event going on now at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Come shop the Suncoast's largest selection of Ram trucks. Get maximum cargo space and more comfort with a new Ram quad cab for as low as $24,999. Or spread out in your spacious new Ram crew cab and save up to $10,000. Better prices. Bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota today. Attention Sarasota and surrounding cities. After 25 years in Sarasota, Bacon's Furniture and Design will be moving to create Southwest Florida's largest and most dynamic furniture store. We must liquidate everything in the store at huge savings as fast as possible. Do not miss this opportunity to purchase quality sofas, bedrooms, dining rooms, patio furniture, mattresses, and more. All at the absolute lowest prices possible. The Bacon's Furniture and Design relocation sell-off. Nobody beats Bacon's. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. This is one of the most important weeks of the year for Jews around the world. ABC 7's Linda Carson tells us more. <laughs> The sound of the ram's horn helps these four-year-olds learn how to celebrate Rosh Hashanah. What is Rosh Hashanah, do you know? A happy new year. A happy new year? And what are they preparing for their new year celebration? Apples and honey and a honey cake. Rabbi Glickman helps them understand the holiday. All the good things that we did that we're proud of, all the bad things that we did, that make us sad. It's a celebration of the new year, and the custom is that you eat apples and honey to help make the new year sweet. 
For more than a hundred years, Jews have been celebrating these holidays here on the Sun Coast. So Jews began coming down to uh, Sarasota around 1913, uh, just a few trickle at a time at that, at that point, uh, and became com coming together as a Jewish community uh, sometime in the, uh, in the mid-20s. In 1927, they built Temple Beth Shalom at 6 in Washington. John Ringling made a donation to that building fund. It was really uh, a community center. It was for one, you know, one congregation for the whole Jewish community. And it wasn't until later in the 50s when uh, the other congregations began to form here in Sarasota. And as those other congregations built their own places of worship, many Jewish educational facilities were also built right along beside them. Key things were always important. Education was important, uh, a place for, uh, for burial in the Jewish community. Those are key elements in any Jewish community. Another key element in the Jewish community, reaching out to help others. Suncoast Jews have contributed a great deal over the last century to make this a great place to call home. Having the Jewish community here uh, brings some diversity and brings the Jewish tradition here that all can learn from and, and, and embrace. Uh, and uh, having Jewish, non-Jewish together really uh, enriches the community. So as the ram's horn sounds across the Sun Coast this weekend, as it sounded across the world for thousands of years to our Jewish community, the kids at Temple Beth Emmanuel say, Happy New Year! Celebrations begin here at Temple Beth Shalom on Wednesday evening as Jews around the world celebrate the new year. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, Linda, thank you. Starts at sunset that night, right? And, yep. uh, mm -hmm. and falls on our calendar this week? That's yes, right. Exactly. Looking good, looking good. A little bit cooler, low temperatures. All right. Good to hear.